okay algebra functions video number two it's about composite functions uh, we have let f of x equal f of x equal 1 minus 7x and g of x we have two functions g of x is given by 5x minus 2 5x minus 2 over x plus 4 that's good part a we should find the f of g of x f round g of x f of g of x is f of g of x so we have to go to f of x which is 1 minus 7 uh, before let me just substitute make it easier f we leave it f instead of g of x we put its value which is 5x minus 2 the function g of x over x plus 4 now we have f of something we go to the f of x and we put its function what we have 1 minus 7x but instead of x i should put instead of x f of x is 1 minus 7x right but i don't have x anymore i have 5x minus 2 over x plus 4 so we should substitute 5x minus 2 over x plus 4 instead of x now we do our calculations 1 minus the 7 we have to multiply it up in the numerator 7 is 7 over 1 right it's 35x minus 14 over x plus 4 what is common denominator we have this is over 1 so i can multiply up and down by x plus 4 over x plus 4 which is equal to 1 minus 35x minus 14 divided by x plus 4 we should be careful here when we multiply the minus okay same denominator x plus 4 x plus 4 in the numerator but this minus is not only for 35 it's also for minus 14 so it becomes minus 35x plus 14 which is equal to minus 34x plus 18 right over x plus 4 minus 34x plus 14 okay let's make it minus 34x plus 18 over x plus 4 for sure we have since we have x plus 4 in the denominator it's better to say that x plus 4 does not equal to 0 this means x does not equal to minus 4 the condition let's go to part b part b says part b we have we have find g inverse right of f inverse of x <clears throat> first we have to go and find what is g inverse and what is f inverse so we can make a composition between f g inverse and f inverse first we don't have g inverse right we have g of x we need to find this first g of x we have it in this in the given of this problem which is 5x minus 2 over x plus 4 right and uh, f of x we have it as 1 minus 7x let me write them here again okay <clears throat> now we have to go and find g inverse let's take g of x which is y equal 5x minus 2 over x plus 4 it's easy to find the inverse we first have to interchange what's the meaning of interchange we have two steps to do only first we interchange interchange means we have to to substitute instead of uh, y x and instead of x y right because inverse functions we will see that later when we draw those functions inverse function of y inverse function is y equal x right they are symmetrical with respect to the straight line y equal x which is the first bisector so we interchange instead of x y and instead of y x then we go and solve for y as if we are finding y solving for y cross product 5y minus 2 multiplied with 1 will become 5y minus 2 equal x times y it's xy minus plus sorry x times 4 it's 4x now we isolate y to the same side 5y bringing this xy to the other side to the left side it will become minus xy is equal to 4x minus 2 take it to the other side it will become plus 2 this implies that y equal uh, sorry y into i factorize for y to find y 5 minus x y y i took it common factor outside over 4x plus 2 then we can divide now by 5 minus x 
both sides, we get y equal for x plus 2 over 5 minus x. And this is what this is what we call the g inverse of x with the condition that 5 minus x does not equal to 0. And that gives us x does not equal to 5. Uh, now we are going to go and find <coughs> this is g inverse. This is what we need for our work because we, he asked ask us to find g inverse around f inverse of x. Let's go and find f inverse of x. f of x is 1 minus 7x, right? Which is y equal 1 minus 7x. Same thing. First step is we interchange. Instead of y, we put x. And instead of x, we put y. Then we go and find y. This implies minus 7y goes to the other side. 7y equal 1. x goes to the right side of equality minus x. We divide both sides by 7. y equal 1 minus x divided by 7. And that is f inverse of x. I found both. I found the g inverse and I found f inverse. Now we have to find g inverse round f inverse. g inverse of x, right? g inverse of x round f sorry g inverse of f inverse of x g inverse f inverse of x is equal to g inverse of f inverse of x right which is equal g inverse what is f inverse of x i just found it over here it's one minus x over seven substitute instead of f inverse of x this function one minus x over seven now i have g inverse of this one minus x over seven which is something else other than x. I go to g inverse of x and I write it here, which is 4x plus 2 over 5 minus x. Why I put parenthesis? Because I have to put something else other than x. If it is g inverse of x, it is 4x plus 2 over 5 minus, minus x, but it's not g inverse of x anymore. It's g inverse of 1 minus x over 7, 1 minus x, over 7. It is equal to the 4 multiply up in the numerator. Okay, let me, the 4, we multiply it up in the numerator, which is 4 minus 4x divided by 7 plus 2. Plus 2, I have to uh, multiply 7 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator to do same denominator. Same for 5, 5 times 7 in the numerator, 7 in the denominator, and minus 1 minus x over 7. I did not multiply the minus yet, right? Up in the numerator, what do we have? We have, come on, denominator, 7. So, it will be 4 minus 4x plus 2 times 7 is 14 over 35, which is 5 times 7, and common denominator is 7, minus should multiply with all the numerator of the fraction 1 minus x over 7. So, minus 1 plus x. 7, 7, both denominators, we can remove them. And what left is 4 plus 14 is 18 minus 4x over 35 minus 1 is 34 plus x. This is what, this is, this is the, what, what, okay. We got the answer. This is g inverse round f inverse of x. For sure, with the condition that 34 plus x should not equal to 0, this means x should not equal to minus 34. Uh, we still have time for part C. Uh, let's do part C over here. <clears throat> part C is, he wants me to do what? Verify that fg inverse of 1, we need to find fg inverse of 1, and we have to prove it equal to g inverse f inverse of 1, right? First, let me go and find g inverse f inverse of 1. g inverse f inverse of 1 is equal to g inverse f inverse of x. We just find it and it is it is 18 minus 4x over 34 plus x. This is what? This is g inverse f inverse of x, right? But we don't need x. What do we need instead of x in this one? We need 1. It's easy because numerical, we can directly substitute 1 instead of x minus 18, uh, sorry, 18 minus, minus 4x means 4 times 1, which is 4 over 34 plus x means plus 1. So my answer is 14 over 34 
35. I finished this right side 